Hi and welcome to this video with me Rob Jam Webb where I'm going to show you three sets of chord progressions for your soulful house, disco house, funky house, lo-fi, whatever it is you want to produce. Okay, you can see the piano video at the top um, and I'm going to demonstrate the chords for you now. Now my belief is that if you're going to be a producer you might as well try and be a musician as well and play some chords rather than just drag and drop MIDI chord packs that are quite popular these days, the MIDI pack, the MIDI pack, all those things that are going around. Um, whilst they can be good and helpful in some respects, they don't develop you as a player because it's all done for you. Um, and I firmly believe that you should at least try and you know develop your own skills um, when it comes to playing. And it becomes much more satisfying than just drag and drop. At least you're putting in some input into your tracks. That's just my old school belief, um, but still. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with it, as I say, but you know, at least tr why don't you try and learn to play some chords yourself? So what we're going to do is I'm going to do three sets of chords, soulful and disco and funky, and then you can take from these what you will and apply them to your own productions. So the first chord is an E minor 7 with a C root, which is this. Right, so that's G, B, D and E, and a C on the left hand. Simple as that. And then the next chord is an A minor 7 with an F root. So you go from the G on the left to the F there. And then that A minor 7 is G, A, C, E. Back to the E minor. Okay, then the next chord is a D minor 7 with a B flat root, which is F, A, C, D. And a B flat on the left hand, which is A sharp or B flat, whichever you want to call it. So let's go for all three of those again. Really nice chords. And then the final chord for that progression is a C major 7, which is B, C and D and C on the left. B, C, E. Okay, so let's put all four together. and smooth nice and soulful so that's one set of chords the next set of chords is a G minor 7 with a C root so C on the left again G B flat D and F and then you play the A minor 7 with an F root again G A C E and an F on the left If you notice what I do in between each chord is I always play the keys, I just jingle the notes along. I don't move my hand, I just move my fingers, so look. Okay, so then G minor 7 with a C, then A minor 7 with the F, and then the next chord is a C minor 7 with an A flat, which is G, B flat, C and D sharp, and then an A flat, G sharp on the right, on the left, sorry. So let's do those three together. Okay, and then the final chord for that is a G minor 7 again, but with a B flat root. So you play the G, B flat, D and F. So let's put all those together there. That's the final chord. So the next one is, the first one is that, second one. And that's the final one with a B flat. And then the final set of chords is the F minor 7 progression, which is F minor 7 on the left hand, which is F, and then it's F, G sharp, C, and D sharp. Okay, and then the next one is uh, the same chord, but you move up to the B flat, like so. So the first chord, F minor 7, natural. Then move your left hand just from the F to the B flat, but keep your right hand on the same notes. And it just gives off a real thick, warm texture. Okay, and you can build up a track with that. And then the next chord will be a G minor 7, but in an inversion. So rather than play G minor 7, G, B flat, D, and F, you'll play, you'll switch the Fs around. 
So you play F, G, B flat and D. And it just makes it deeper. And then you have on the left hand a natural G. Let's put all those together. Okay, and then the final chord in that progression is the G minor 7 again, but we go back to the natural inversion, which is we switch the Fs around again. And then we play a C. Like that. So watch what I do. F minor 7. F minor 7 with a B flat. G minor 7 inversion. Starting with the F. And then we flip the Fs around and play a C on the left. Yeah. What you can do on this is you can flick from the F to the E to give it a little bit of colour. So watch what I do on the very last chord, I just flick from there to there. it there's three chord progressions for you to take advantage of for your tutorial and take them into your productions don't forget to like and subscribe and any questions you may have just email me or comment in the box below anyone is interested in one-to-one -one personal mentoring with me get in touch at waxadist.com thank you for watching and goodbye